Hello and welcome to another video from Double O Rail. In this video, we're going to show you how to diagnose a Bachmann steam locomotive that isn't working. So basically, when we apply power, the locomotive doesn't work or it's rather sluggish. Um, and in our case, when it was going around the layout, it actually popped the overload circuit uh, breaker on our electron from H&M. To diagnose the problem though, I'm using a very basic Bachmann uh, analog um, DC controller. And the reason I'm doing that is it has, it'll only output about one amp, so it's not going to overstress the motor. And it'll also allow me a little bit better control. There's no emergency shut off, so I can kind of play with it a little bit and see if I can coax it into running. Now remember, this is a secondhand locomotive, so I have no idea what its uh, history was or whether it was brand new, whether it was used. And so um, the first thing we're going to do, because it does look like there's a bit of grime on the wheels, we're going to go uh, clean the wheels. We're going to see if that fixes the problem. If that doesn't quite fix the problem, we're going to go through a couple of other techniques to see if we can uh, diagnose the issue. And that includes uh, applying weight um, with your fingers uh, to the locomotive. So it's going to require um, removing or loosening the screws to see if maybe the chassis is uh, over tightened uh, rather than uh, not loose enough and so maybe it might be uh, causing a short somewhere or causing something to hit. Um, obviously if it's uh, too loose uh, applying pressure to the locomotive uh, in around the center of the chassis all of a sudden starts working well then you have a pretty good idea you need to you know undo those screws and retighten them. Alright so um, let's start off with uh, doing some quick tests, showing you um, what the problem is, and then uh, going through the motions from cleaning the wheels to uh, doing some of the other diagnostic tests. And we have the uh, loco attached here. Um, I also have the tender, but I'm not going to actually put the tender on the track just yet. Um, we're just going to go and test it out with the loco itself. Now the first thing we're going to do is test it uh, going one direction, and you can see here um, there's not much life in it, it is moving a little bit, but not much. And then if I uh, do it the other way, it'll move, but it'll then stop. Now keep in mind this was a locomotive that uh, was second hand, so it may have other issues. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is make sure that uh, we haven't done anything to the um, pickups. And the pickups look like they're, they're doing okay. Uh, I can just show you there. Um, if you can see the pickups, but they're not bent or anything like that. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is clean the wheels. And the wheels do feel a little um, oily, to be honest. Um, so it's quite possible that uh, somebody may have uh, accidentally gotten oil onto those wheels. So to uh, clean the wheels, it's quite simple. We're going to take our uh, glue gun, uh, and we're going to take uh, some... Uh, Q-tips or cotton buds, and then we're basically just going to clean the wheels. Um, I'll show you how to do this on one set, and then uh, I'm going to repeat it off camera because uh, I don't need to kind of do it for every single wheel. So I'm going to flick it over, and like so, I'm just going to basically apply the uh, goo gone like so. And it doesn't matter if it drips, it's plastic safe. I'm going to get the inside of the wheel as well as the outside, and I'm going to take the dry side of it and just uh, give it a good scrub and we'll do the same thing with uh, that one, I'm not sure if you saw that, so I'll do the next wheel as well so you just uh, give that a good scrub and same on the other side and you can see there it's pretty dirty so uh, it's quite possible that that is the issue so if I uh, flick it over here I may or may not get, may or may not get instantaneous results. Nope, looks like there's some other issue. Okay, it's starting to move down a little bit. So um, I'm going to go and do that to the rest of the wheels and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I've given the uh, loco a bit of a wheel clean but it's still not really moving. However, I've noticed that if I apply some pressure to the center of the loco, it moves without any problem. But then it stops. Apply some pressure and it moves. So what this means is that the loco chassis isn't quite tied to it properly. So instead of loosening it, I'm going to tighten it and hopefully that will fix the problem. 
So, if the locomotive won't run with the chassis on it, the very next thing to do is to simply remove the chassis. And if it works perfectly fine with the chassis removed, then you know you have some kind of short or other issue being caused by the chassis. As you can see here, it's working perfectly fine without the chassis on. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, put the chassis on it without uh, potentially screwing it in and see how it runs. Okay, so I've dropped the chassis on it. It's not screwed in. Let's see what happens. seems to work quite happily. So the problem seems to be with the chassis screws. So we're going to go ahead and figure out exactly which ones. Maybe they're over tightened. Remember that uh, front one we had was not um, going into the chassis properly. So we'll see exactly what's going on. But like this, it's running perfectly fine. Running pretty smoothly at high speed. And it's running pretty smoothly. It's slow speeds, and this is just with the Bachman DC controller. Alright, so let's uh, try to put screws back in and see what happens. Okay, so the first step, I've only installed one of the screws. This is the center screw. Let's see what happens. It's working fine. Okay, so now I'm going to install that troublesome front screw and see what happens. Okay, this is with the front screw. Let's see what happens. Seems to still be working fine. So it could be a combination of all three screws. Maybe some of them were not torqued correctly or it could have been something touching against the motor when I put it in, back into the chassis the first time around. So let's go and see what's going on. We're going to add the third screw and hopefully it'll work. Okay, so all three screws have been put back in. Let's see if it works. And look at that. It's not, not moving at all. Okay. See what happens if I remove this uh, third screw. See what I've done is I've uh, loosened it quite a bit. Let's see what happens with it loosened. Ah, look at that. Now it's working. Okay, so must have been uh, an issue with that screw because it's uh, working pretty well. So something as simple as that was probably causing pressure or something uh, to part of the locomotive or maybe causing something to short. So loosening that last screw enabled us to uh, get the loco back up and running again. All right, well, I'm going to run this in on the layout um, without the tender attached to it and uh, we'll show it to you running in an upcoming video. Well, I hope you found this video useful and until next time.